Hello and welcome to the art of mindful eating, your key to developing a whole new relationship with your food and your body. I am Dr. Anna Margalina. First, consider this you are nature. Your body uses the same energy as nature does, and your body has the same elements as nature has. Together with other animals, you are engaged in the sacred alchemy of food. You know how to take life force or chi or energy from nature and turn it into your own energy, into your own chi. And you have this amazing technology, your digestive system. And notice how much space it takes in your body. So how you feel in your body will largely depend on what's going on with your digestion. Also, have you ever had this gut feeling? This is your gut brain talking to you. Now science confirms that our enteric nervous system is just like another brain, and it is intelligent. We also have microorganisms which live in our gut, and they know how to produce neurochemicals which can change your mood can mess up with your emotions. So if you want to feel better, be calmer, more peaceful, more stable, take care of your gut. Also, so often people are so busy because they want to accomplish more, but because of this, they do not feed their own brain. And our brain is very sensitive to nutrition. So let's discuss how you can learn how to deliver more radiant, clean chi or life force into your body. So this is based first on science and also on teachings of ancient masters who were very concerned with this task, how we can use our digestive system better, how we can have more vibrancy, more power. So there are seven rules that you want to follow if you want to develop this wonderful new relationship with your food. First, you serve food with respect and gratitude. Imagine if you share this meal with a person you really respect. How would you do it? So do it for yourself. And before you begin, Smile into your food and feel grateful for plants and animals and all the people who brought this food to your plate and also yourself. Next, smell your food before taking a bite. This will help your body to prepare the exact mixture of enzymes so you could digest your food much easier. Next, third, eat good, clean chi. Which means, don't start eating when you are stressed. Take time to think about something peaceful. You can imagine a beautiful place. You can look at a picture of a beautiful place. Or, if you have a good view, you can 
take a look outside and just breathe in this good energy. Next, drink your food, eat your liquids. This, I know it's so weird, but your stomach does not have teeth and your cells are very, very small. So chew your food really well and even chew your drinks. Next, as you do it, as you chew, become aware of colors, flavors, textures, aroma, and also notice how it feels when you put this morsel of food on your tongue and you begin to chew it, how it feels when you swallow and notice how good it feels. And this means that you need to talk less or eat in silence. And when you finish your meal, it's so important to pause again, smile into your body and say, thank you, body, for taking good care of me. I know that at first it may seem it takes too long, but start small and notice the changes. Your body will begin to feel lighter. You will need less food and you will have more energy. You will also notice that it's easier to just let go of food which does not have good chi which is not good for your body. And you will feel better. Your digestion will go easier. Most importantly, you will develop a whole new relationship with your food and your own body. So thank you. I am Dr. Anna Margalina, and I am a Universal Healing Dao Instructor. And recently we co-authored a book Qigong or Qigong for Radiant Skin with my grandmaster Mantak Chia. And in this book I talk more about the art of mindful eating. So wishing you a wonderful time learning how to feed your body and how to become more vibrant, more alive with mindful eating.